Hi, I'm Chef Pete, and I'm here today in Harris Teeter's Kitchen. I'm going to show you how to make the perfect char-grilled filet mignon. So we're going to start off with some really nice, thick, about 10-ounce cuts of filet mignon or tenderloin. And we're going to take those. They have a little trimming that we're going to have to do to them. So they have what we call silver skin, or you might think of it as gristle on the outside here. We're just going to want to remove that. So we're going to take our knife. You want to cut as close to it as possible because you don't want to cut off any of that meat. Now this, this, this is basically the king of steaks. It's also your most expensive cut, so you want to leave as much of that meat on there. And we're just going to do a simple marinade on this. You're just going to take some of zesty Italian dressing. We're also going to wrap this in a little bacon. So I have two pieces of bacon here. Use your favorite bacon. If you want to use something that has a little different type of a smoke flavor on it, that's fine. This is about your liking. And you're going to want to either use a toothpick or some butcher's string or twine to actually tie this on and make sure so if you start cooking it the way it is now, it's just going to peel away. So I have a little butcher's twine here. We're just going to wrap it around. Now remember, this tenderloin is the most tender muscle in the, in the animal. So if you pull too hard, you can actually split it in half. So now we're going to marinate this in the Italian dressing. I like to marinate in a plastic resealable bag. The marinade tends to, to touch the meat a lot better. But you can also use a plastic or glass container and cover it. You never want to marinate piece of meat in, in a metal bowl though. About a cup and a half, two cups. You want to try to push out as much air as you can. You want to be careful. This isn't a, a big piece of top round or something, but you want to try to still work that marinade in a little bit. Make sure every, every part's getting touched by the marinade. If you, ha if you handle this too much, you're going to knock that bacon off. You can also squish the meat. So now you're going to want to let this Sit in your refrigerator maybe anywhere from one hour to three hours. So I have a piece, or two pieces here, that I actually marinated about two and a half hours ago. So we're going to take that out of the bag. And I'm going to drain off as much of that marinade as I can. Then I'm going to want to pat it dry. That doesn't have to be extremely dry, but you want to just roll it on some paper towel. Now, I'd like to hit this with just a little bit more salt and pepper. Just a little bit on the top. Now the bacon's going to have plenty of salt on it, so you don't have to season the sides. But just a little bit more salt and pepper on the top and the bottom. And then while this is going on, we're going to grill these on the inside grill pan. But you can definitely do this on the outside grill. See, this is a really thick cut of meat, about two inches. This filet is probably going to take a good 20 minutes to get to a medium rare temperature. So you're going to want to get those good marks on it. But you're also going to want to flip it on all of its sides because you want to cook that bacon too. You can do this on the grill, you're just going to have to change the temperature, lower it down after you get some nice grill marks on there, or you can just get those grill marks and put it into about a 350 to 400 degree oven to finish cooking it. So now I'm going to take these, place them on the grill, oh, nice and hot, that's the way you want it. It needs to sizzle when you put it on there. Now you're going to go about two minutes. Then you're going to want to turn it to get your nice grill marks. And then we're going to flip it over to the other side, do the same. And then we're going to work all the edges around here. And it's going to take about 20 minutes to do that. And then by then we should have a nice rare to medium rare piece of meat. We got the grill marks we want. We're going to turn them on its side. We're going to start grilling that bacon.
So I'm going to keep moving this around. And I'm going to turn the temperature down a little bit too because I want to finish cooking this on this grill. But if I keep this high temp, we're going to end up burning everything on there. So we're just going to lower that temp. And we'll be back in a few minutes to get these off the grill. Okay, so now we've had these cooking for about 15 minutes. You know, they're getting close to being medium rare. So I'm going to start basting them with the steak sauce. Again, just a light coat. Get it on. Then we're going to want to turn them over. Get that sauce to start caramelizing on there. And you'll learn, you know, maybe you want to go three minutes if your steak sauce that you like to use has a little too much sugar in it, you might want to wait until the last minute. Because again, once you start adding these sugars, you'll start to get burning action going on. Okay, so now we've taken them off the grill after we brought them to the cooking uh, internal temperature that we like. For me, 130 degrees, medium rare. I'm going to let a piece of meat like this, being not so thick, seven or eight minutes, let it rest, let those juices just redistribute themselves back in that meat. Now we're going to have to make sure that we remove whatever we used. Here in this case was the string from the meat or your toothpick. You want to make sure you take that off. Just cut that and pull it away. And you want to be a little careful because the bacon itself may actually want to come away with that string, but you want to keep it on there. I'm Chef Pete here in Harris Teeter's Kitchen, and here we have the perfect char-grilled filet mignon. Enjoy!